talking a bit more about Jamaican medicine. <laughs> Listen to me. During the May to August or May to July period is usually mango season in Jamaica, although with this global warming and climate change, we seem to have m mangoes most of the year. Anyway, so as children, when we were on holidays, June, July, or July, August, oh, we would have a feast of mangoes. And some adults still do we have mango like mad. And you, you know, we have folk songs. Me no drink coffee tea, mango time. Care how nice it may be, mango time. At the height of the mango crop, when the fruit them ripe and drop, Wash your pot, turn them down, mango time. And it goes on, and there are other mango songs. Well, some mangoes have worms in there. All the time people say worm. As a matter of fact, there are some people who don't eat mango until night because they're not about looking for the worms and cutting out that spot. They just sit down there in the dark or in, you know, and eat the mango and enjoy themselves. Well, after you eat up all the mango, and you eat up all of the guava, and you eat up all of the rose apple, and you go out bush and you shoot bird, and you and you fry the bird a bush, and and you eat up guinep. I don't look here. I don't know. We never have colic more. You know what I mean? And sometimes we did. But you see, when you're going to prepare to go back to school, it was just a uniform and the school shoes and your bag and the books and so on. You know, it was to get a good wash out. That means you would have had to get some meds now. They have some fancy things that you can go to a pharmacy and buy because those days it was thought that you had to cleanse the body of any impurities. So you could still have things like Brooklox. And remember, Brooklox would look like one little chocolate, but it didn't taste good at all. It didn't taste good. Brooklox, remember that. There was salt and senna. Mm -hmm. You get the salt, so you mix it with salt and senna. And then there was castor oil. Oh, Father in heaven, castor oil. Um, some people call it oil nut. Um, then boil that down and then give that to you. And that is to wash you out. You know, I had a wonderful way of dealing with some of these uh, medicines that was given to me. Mommy would have to stand up over me or my grandmother to make sure I send me a drink. Herb, herb tea. Oh, God, that's what I would get. And the older people would have castor oil and so on. But that castor oil thing was awful. But um, so I would just wait and if them ever shift and go do something, just pour it through the crack in the floor, board floor, country house, you understand, and it gone into the cellar. But everybody had to have a washout, and worm medicine was critical. You had to have worm medicine washout before you go back to school, clean and fresh and ready to take on the new new school year. And speaking about new school year, let me just remind you or tell you if you didn't hear me say it before. The school year used to be January to December. Mm -hmm. Is in the 60s, it turned to September to June. So there you have a little something, you can look it up. When I went to high school, we lost a term because of that. And I went to high school in, what was it, 64? There about. Yeah, a little bit of something. Faye Ellington here with all kind of something to do with our culture that I believe I should share with you. Share it with the younger people too. If you are older than, you know, 30 and 40 and 50, um, share it with the younger ones. This is about Jamaica, right? <laughs>